progress it through the set. So on the long irons, we cut the cavity in more perpendicular to the to the ground surface, mm -hmm. and that helps us get weight further back and save weight from low and forward because you want to set that ball up in there. Absolutely. Now as we progress into the short irons, the higher lofted stuff, we pull that more, the pull direction of the whole cavity is more perpendicular to the face. That allows more material, more of the stainless steel to be low and forward. Low and forward helps lower the ball flight and send it out more penetrating. Right. So not only do we get some of that flighted uh, characteristics in the set design from what we're doing with the sole width and, and everything in the offset and everything else, but through the ca through the cavity structure design, that's how we progress the CG more drastically. So and, and uh, yeah. it's worked out really well. Uh, we switched from we switched to a toaster style. We call it toaster style vertical entry. Okay. Custom tuning for weight, CTP weight is what we call it for slang. Um, <laughs> it's right up against the face. It enhances the feel. Mm -hmm. And one of the big advantages, not new to this iron, but it's, it's worth talking about, is we can adjust the swing weight for using different shafts, ordering clubs at longer length, shorter length. We can hit basically any swing weight out there because we can make, we mold these weights. Uh, we, we vary the density of the weight, keep the same geometry from like 3 to 28 grams. So we have a huge range of weights we can put in here. Fine-tuned swing weights, just another nice attribute of our custom fitting process. And we have in there. Uh, so the face is actually relatively thin, but it has the right type of reinforcement. We have these stabilizing bars on the heel and toe. And we have aluminum bags that enhances the feel. Okay. Um, and so we have a lot of perimeter weighting, a ton of perimeter weighting. Weight in the low toe, tungsten weight in the low toe. So that's a piece of tungsten that's inserted in the low toe. Mm -hmm. And we have high toe weight. High toe weight's important too. I mean, that's one thing that Karsten taught us with his I2 designs, the Ping Zing designs, um, is that weight in the high toe, the center of gravity is in the middle of the club. So if you put weight in the high toe, it can drive up your moment of inertia. Okay. The moment of inertia makes it more forgettable. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why Karsten brought that to us, I mean, we're still using the same philosophies today, uh, and the same physics today, to make club better, make make a club better. Mm -hmm. So with all our designs, we're trying to maximize the MOI for the size of the blade. Okay. <clears throat> because everyone wants and needs forgiveness. We cut the cavity in, we progress it through the set. So on the long irons, we cut the cavity in more perpendicular to the to the ground surface, mm -hmm. and that helps us get weight further back and save weight from low and forward because you want to set that ball up in there. Absolutely. Now as we progress into the short irons, the higher lofted stuff, we pull that more, the pull direction of the whole cavity is more perpendicular to the face. That allows more material, more of the stainless steel to be low and forward. Low and forward helps lower the ball of flight and send it out more penetrating. Right. So not only do we get some of that flighted uh, characteristics in the set design from what we're doing with the sole width and, and everything, the offset and everything else, but through the ca through the cavity structure design, that's how we progress the CG mm -hmm. more drastically. So and, and, uh, yeah. it's worked out really well. Uh, we switched from we switched to a toaster style. We call it toaster style vertical entry. Okay. Custom tuning for weight, CTP weight is what we call it for slang. Um, <laughs> it's right up against the face. It enhan enhances the feel. Mm -hmm. And one of the big advantages, not new to this iron, but it's, it's worth talking about is we can adjust the swing weight for using different shafts, ordering clubs at longer length, shorter length. We can hit basically any swing weight out there because we can make, we mold these weights. Uh, we, we vary the density of the weight, keep the same geometry from like 3 to 28 grams. So we have a huge range of weights we can put in here. Fine-tuned swing weights, just another nice attribute of our custom fitting process that we have in there. Uh, so the face is actually relatively thin, but it has the right type of reinforcement. We have these stabilizing bars on the heel and toe. And we have aluminum bags that enhances the feel. Okay. Um, and so we have a lot of perimeter weighting, a ton of perimeter weighting. Weight in the low toe, tungsten weight in the low toe. So that's a piece of tungsten that's inserted in the low toe. And we have high toe weight. High toe weight's important too. I mean, that's one thing that Karsten taught us with his I2 designs, the Ping Zing designs. Um, is that weight in the high toe, the center of gravity is in the middle of the club, so if you put weight in the high toe, it can drive up your moment of inertia. Okay. The moment of inertia makes it more forgettable. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why Karsten brought that to us. I mean, we're still using the same philosophies today, uh, and the same physics today, to make club better, make, make the club better. Mm -hmm. So with all our designs, we're trying to maximize the MOI for the size of the blade. Okay. <clears throat> because everyone wants and needs forgiveness.
The designs are proprietary to us, but we partner with several key shaft suppliers okay. on the materials, the layouts, the manual Absolutely. designs. Be able to do You're giving them your own specs and saying, yeah, this and is what we need. And we have a great partnership with cool. the best shaft manufacturers cool. out there to push the envelope of technology. And well, which shaft is going to get with the G20? That's a great question. We have, we offer the TFC 169D, mm -hmm. and what we do is we offer the X, and then we have an X Tour. Okay. And then an S and an S Tour, an R and an R Tour, and then we have one soft regular flex. Okay. And so it's really like, and because we didn't have, we don't have an aftermarket shaft, so we don't have to try a pair of shaft that matches it real well. Right. We were able to create like the perfect progression. So if you have the S, the S tour is like five grams heavier, twenty percent stiffer torque, uh, and stiffer tip, mm -hmm. and a little bit stiffer butt butt okay. stiffness. So we've been able to create basically the perfect flex progression, and mm -hmm. our. Our club fitters have had unbelievable success. I get I get uh, compliments all the time on our shaft handling and the fact that they're able to kind of hit tra different trajectory levels, different feels, different weights with the different offerings. So our 169 comes in all those different flexes, uh, and the, the tour flexes have been a huge hit. Cool. And I think Jeff Maggard's playing the, the 169DX tour. Okay. And we've had a lot of local mini tour players in Phoenix have a lot of good success with the 169DX tour. Counterbalance technology works. Okay. Because you can go longer. But the heavier head, what the heavier head does, mm -hmm. it gives you, without, and the whole club doesn't weigh anymore. It's the same swing weight. They're able to put down the head, right? Yeah. Okay. It's basically you're taking more weight and put it on the perimeter of the whole golf club mm -hmm. from this view right here. Right. Okay, so more weight in the head, you swing at the same speed. Well, when, anytime we have more weight in the head, you're going to have more inertia. More inertia gives you more forgiveness, so it's going to go straight. But it also gives you more kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is one times one, as, uh, one half the mass times the velocity right. squared. So if you increase the mass, not only do you get more uh, inertia, but you get more energy and you get more momentum. Because the golf ball impact is not just an energy equation. You hear you know, the industry, oh, it's energy. It's momentum. It's momentum equation. Well, I'm so glad we have engineers like this guy because I'm not a math dude. There you go. Yeah, it's like, I'll just leave it to you guys. And you just both. set me up and we're good to go. I love it. It's momentum. Okay. Okay. So you get mass times velocity. Mm -hmm. You get more momentum. So you get energy, inertia, and momentum because the shaft is like cool. And the head is, it's, it's totally uh, kind of maximized for size again. We made the face on the driver like a more surface area on the heel and the toe. Mm -hmm. A uh, tie 811 alloy, thin crown technology, and a ton of weight located low and back to optimize launch conditions in a medium low spin mm -hmm. offered in four different lofts with cool. a ton of shaft off, off options. I like it. And this is a Designs are proprietary to us, but we partner with several key shaft suppliers okay. on the materials, the layouts, the manual Absolutely. designs. Be able to do You're giving them your own specs and saying, yeah, this and is what we need. And we have a great partnership with cool. the best shaft manufacturers cool. out there to push the envelope of technology. And well, which shaft is going to get with the G20? That's a great question. We have, we offer the TFC 169D, mm -hmm. and what we do is we offer the X, and then we have an X Tour. Okay. And then an S and an S Tour, an R and an R Tour, and then we have one soft regular flex. Okay. And so it's really like, in, because we didn't have, we don't have an aftermarket shaft, so we don't have to try a pair of shaft that matches it real well. Right. We were able to create like the perfect progression. So if you have the S, the S Tour is like five grams heavier, 20% okay. stiffer torque, uh, and stiffer tip, mm -hmm. and a little bit stiffer butt, butt okay. stiffness. So we've been able to create basically the perfect flex progression and mm -hmm. our our club fitters have had unbelievable success. I get I get uh, compliments all the time on our shaft handling and the fact that they're able to kind of hit tra different trajectory levels, different feels, different weights with the different offerings. So our 169 comes in all those different flexes uh, and the, the tour flexes have been a huge hit. Cool. And I think Jeff Maggard's playing the, the 169DX tour. Okay. And we've had a lot of local mini tour players in Phoenix have a lot of good success with the 169DX tour. The counterbalance technology works. Because okay. you can go longer. But the heavier head, what the heavier head does, mm -hmm. It gives you, without, and the whole club doesn't weigh anymore. It's, it's the same swing weight. They're able to put down the head, right? Yeah. Okay. It's basically taking more weight and put it on the perimeter of the whole golf club mm -hmm. from this view right here. Right. Okay, so more weight in the head, you swing at the same speed. Well, when, anytime we have more weight in the head, you're going to have more inertia. More inertia gives you more forgiveness, so it's going to go straight. Okay. But it also gives you more kinetic energy. Kinetic 
kinetic energy is one times one, uh, one half the mass times the velocity right. squared. So if you increase the mass, not only do you get more uh, inertia, but you get more energy and you get more momentum. Because the golf ball impact is not just an energy equation. You hear, you know, the industry, oh, it's energy. It's momentum, momentum That's why I'm so glad we have engineers like this guy, because I'm not a math dude. There you go. Yeah, it's like, I'll just leave it to you guys, and you just both. set me up, and we're good to go. I love it. It's momentum. Okay. Okay, so you get mass times velocity, mm -hmm. and you get more momentum. So you get energy, inertia, momentum, because the shaft is like, cool. And the head is, it's, it's totally uh, kind of maximized for size again. We made the face on the driver, like a more surface area on the heel and the toe. Mm -hmm. uh, tie 811 alloy. Thin crown technology and a ton of weight located low and back to optimize launch conditions and a medium low spin mm -hmm. offered in four different lofts with cool. a ton of shaft off, off options. I like it. And this is in, in right and, and close the face, some of them left and open the face. And some of them are real straight back and through, and some of them have a ton of rotation. Okay. There's no right or wrong, but the way that we use this tool and what it's telling you, it's giving you a, a putting handicap of 24. Okay. So that, that basically means that. If you work with this tool and you're putting, you get your handicap down, you're going to help you play better golf. Right. And it's fun at the same time. So I have a lot of room for yeah. improvement. So we have red, yellow, and green. Okay. Red means you need to get I a little, need some help. little bit of work on your stroke type. Okay. But your average stroke, it was it was a, it was a slight arc. You're kind of bordering between 